How's everyone doing out there? I'm your host, Joey Pucks. Before we get into today's video, just a quick reminder that you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. You'll see information on your screen right now. Links are in the video description below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. There's a link in the lower right-hand corner of your screen, an icon you can click on. Also, a link in the video description below. With that out of the way, let's get into it. About a week or so ago, I made a video showcasing a build I'm referring to as Berserk Light, okay? And if you haven't checked out that video, it's on my channel. You can go do so. In a nutshell, the idea was that we're using Berserk as our primary talent, okay? I mean, the build is built around the Berserk talent. Um, we were matching up other talents on weapons and on other pieces of armor that were basically letting us play within the spectrum of zero armor and full armor. So although Berserk wasn't going to be fully proc'd all the time, like in some of the other builds you may have seen, you were also adding an element of survivability, increasing your survivability by having your armor constantly fluctuating between zero and your max armor. So you didn't have to delve into your health pool, uh, particularly in PvE, okay? Uh, since then, and since the most recent phase of the uh, sort of PTS has been released, I've rejiggered the build a little bit, okay? Previously, it was like a 971 build. Now I am at 774, and I got to this point basically by trying for a 775 build, which I'm not sure you can achieve. Uh, I couldn't achieve it with the gear that I have. Um, and in the alternative, I was trying to get a 765 or a 764 build. And I'm, I'll explain in just a few minutes why that is. Okay. So in the latest patch notes, we've been told Berserk is being tested at seven offensive attributes. Okay. That's why we're going for seven red. Uh, I'm sticking with seven blue for the purpose of the preservation weapon talent. Okay, right now it's at five, but on the PTS servers and in the patch notes, it's saying that this will then require uh, seven defensive attributes. Okay, and that means we're in the safe zone for patience, okay, which is being tweaked in and of itself. Right now it requires seven or more blue uh, or defensive attributes. This is apparently is currently being tested down at six. Okay, it was as high as nine. Uh, so we'll have to see where the developers actually land on the sort of final version of the patch. But for now, this build is sort of latest phase compliant is, is the way that I would describe that. So in the interest of keeping these videos relatively short, let's go into it. We'll look at each piece um, as things are a little bit different now, including the weapons uh, that I'm running to some degree. Okay, so we start out, I've got my my best military P416. Okay, preservation is the primary weapon talent here. So when I get a kill, I start repairing my armor. All right. It has Allegro and double duty as the other talents. And keep in mind, although it's saying five right now, it's being tested at requiring seven blue attributes, okay, which we which we have here. Chatterbox is my new secondary. In the last video, I believe I had some kind of UMP45, which also had preservation on it. Uh, since then, I've gotten the Chatterbox, so I've matched that up. It's a pretty sort of common common thing. Um, and then I've got my, my Police 686 Magnum as my sidearm. And again, mostly using this for the greased weapon talent there uh, on, on the bottom. All right, just jumping back quickly to the military, uh, the P416. Uh, if I click in here, okay, so I'm going for damage to elites, extra magazine, crit chance, and more damage to elites. So I'm plus 10% on damage to elites uh, using this as my primary weapon. That's the way that I'm basically using it. I'm really using it as sort of a one weapon build. I'm not using Chatterbox actually other than for its holstered weapon talent, which is Blabbermouth, okay? And I actually messed around with a couple of other builds. I actually had a UMP build, which I'm not showing here, um, using the Liberty as my as my uh, sidearm uh, for that perk that does, or talent that, uh, that gives you uh, the, the current weapon uh, magazine uh, reload uh, independence there. So 
So kind of tinkering with that, I think right now, uh, Chatterbox is the better way to go based on what I have. Getting into the gear then, okay, we've got, um, I, I've tweaked this a little bit previously. I was at sort of two reds and a blue or two reds and a yellow here. I scaled that back because I really didn't want the crit uh, chance or the crit damage attribute that I had. I know I have Wyvern on, so it's going to give me the plus 7% anyway, but here I've got damage to elites as my attribute, skill power, hard hitting, okay, no modification on it. Uh, same chest piece, okay, I'm running the, the uh, Fenris group here for assault rifle damage, uh, headshot weapon damage health, berserk, and restorative, okay. And I guess restorative probably could be replaced, although I can't do it on this one. Uh, might be better if there's a talent that would give me uh, armor on on kill, um, though I, I'm not sure that there is. Uh, but anyway, I can't modify this further because I've already got headshot damage there. Moving on to the holster, this is now a Fenris. Okay, I've got blue and yellow here. Uh, defensive and utility, more hard hitting. Okay, and as you saw in the clips that opened the video, this thing just melts yellow bar enemies. Okay, go into the backpack. Now it's a 511 tactical. It's got my armor up. My armor is about 20,000 more than it was in the last go around. Okay, here I've got weapon damage as my offensive attribute, health, skill, power, hardened as my first passive talent and vital as my second passive talent. And here I have a offensive mod. Okay, so I'm trying to get up towards that seven. Jumping back to the chest piece, I realized I didn't show this in the last video either, but sort of here's what I'm running for my offensive mod slot on that one. Okay. If we skip over to the gloves, Gila Guard, so plus 5% armor. I've got a second piece going. I think it's the knees, yeah, so I've got the hazard protection as well. Assault rifle damage, not the best roll on this one, but I think 3% um, was kind of the best of sort of what I had available at the time, so that could be tweaked a little bit further. Devastating for weapon damage. So I've really gone, I've kind of geared away from the headshot damage and moved more towards just overall weapon damage to the extent that I can or damage to elites. And then finally, on the knee pads, oh, sorry, before I get there, utility, again, I was trying to get to five yellow, uh, wasn't able to do it, so sort of this is where I ended up for the time being. And then getting down to the knee pads here, okay, one blue, um, and I got patience, which right now requires seven. Will it require six? Will it require nine? I'm going off the latest patch notes. Based on it being six, this will be compliant with that, and I've got a couple of defensive mods going on here those armor on kills. Remember, we're playing in that within that spectrum of zero armor and full armor, so Berserk isn't always going to be proc fully, uh, and when we get kills, we're going to be regenerating armor, taking more damage, increasing our damage output, etc., and it kind of just spins on itself. I've got the same, the same um, skills going on, Oxidizer Chem Launcher and my Fixer Drone. And I will say, as I was going through this, I was trying to get to five utility because I was trying to get Spotter as my as an active talent on my face mask, okay, it's getting a bump up by th from I think plus ten percent to pulsed enemies to plus twenty percent damage to pulsed enemies. So something to look out for. I was trying to make a build around that, actually couldn't make it work. Um, and the last big change is last time around, I was using the sharpshooter specialization. Okay, I am now running uh, survivalist, I believe that it is. Okay, um, with the crossbow. And really, I'm using this for the AR damage to maximize my AR output. Um, listen, Sharpshooter is great because it gives you the increased stability, the increased headshot damage, and the super fast reload speed. Uh, so I've sacrificed those to get my AR damage as, you know, as, as high as I can. Uh, and sort of still tinkering around with this. I've seen a few videos online with builds based on survivalist, and I figured, all right, you know, let me try and try to maximize the output. So if I go to my summary page, okay, remember we're at 774, you see the armor, you see the health, you see the skill power, you see what I'm running for my talents, and then if we get into the actual hard numbers here, you see what I've got going on for weapons. You see what I've got going on for my offense. So 18% all weapons damage, 18% assault rifle damage to elites, armor damage, and then moving on to the defensive stats. And that's pretty much it. So um, 
you know, as, as the new update comes into focus, we'll have a better sense of sort of what works and and then what what won't work. Some other builds I am experimenting with, um, and I will sort of see how those go and, and make videos on them to the extent that they get appropriate and helpful to folks. So hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget, check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Also, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like and comment on this video if you enjoyed the content. Let me know what you're thinking about your build and sort of the state of the game, etc. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.